just in case you don't know, my parents came like over 35 years ago to the UK. So um, really, I really should know Polish. And I kind of do. So this is exactly how you gym in Poland for free. To be completely honest, I don't really speak Polish that much at home. It's always like in English. Like obviously I can't get into the detail that I'd like to get into like in Polish. Obviously when you know a language fully, you can make effects that you can't if it was like a, almost a second language, which Polish is for me at the moment because I've been brought up in the UK. In case you see my long surname and you get confused. Kaczmarczyk. That's how you say it. Kaczmarczyk. You roll the R and it's 11 letters long. That's why I was considering to change my name to Williams. But I changed it on Facebook and it just confused everybody. I don't want to make new friends like and trying to get the contacts. My uh, my name doesn't come up anymore uh, for some reason. Oh, and like with mates from my area, we just use Polish for jokes and to like make emphasis that we could not do if we used English. So, Ogórek Władysław. Babcia. Zbigniew. Um, yeah, that's it. So, coming to Poland, I need to adjust. To kiedy przyjeżdżam do Polski, ja muszę jakby uh, zmienić uh, myślenie i język musi się improve. Carrying on, I go to Yatomi Gym in Łódź, in Manufaktura. Like a lot of old factories with beautiful red brick. Like there, but not here. That's exactly why I'm using this background. But basically I'm going into the gym and like I'm asking for a day pass and then she goes 50 zwoty which is a Polish currency to English is always about 5 to 1. So that's 50 zwoty is 10 pounds. I was like wait babes uh, I paid 20 zwoty last year. Um, yeah I, I'm almost certain that was a discount last year as well but I'm gonna get a discount again today. So uh, and then she goes what what then I'm literally trying to explain myself you know. But in my explanation, then she kind of gets that my Polish isn't very fluid, and then she literally goes like, so uh, where are you from? Or more like, uh, skąd pan pochodzi? Oh, and then me, like, in my head I'm like, I hate lying on the spot. But yeah, London, uh, then she goes, let me serve the next customer quickly. And then she was really happy for me to like fall into like my English, really. Um, so much for my broken Polish. And, and that was amazing, because I leveled out, I could talk to her, I didn't have to feel stupid because my accent obviously is there. I mean, it's different if you speak the language every day. People who speak the language you're trying to speak do pick up on it. Um, and that's always the case when I go to Poland. She was asking for advice whether she should go to Poland, like for work or whatever. And I was like, hey, honestly, come on, just go. Like, don't think about it. Otherwise, you're going to become one of those resentful types. I was worried for a second that we'd get onto Brexit and that would probably kill the conversation and any a longing for her to want to come to the UK. Uh, maybe she doesn't know or maybe she just ignored it, but yeah, she sounds like she wants to come and uh, you know, and uh, in my head I'm like, go before you, you might not be able to actually. And then five minutes later after some deep chat, she's giving me the club card and then I'm like in my head like, wait, 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 pulling out my wallet. But then I'm like, in my head I'm realizing I've literally said everything about myself to try to help you to come to the UK. We'll go out, I'll show you around. I'll introduce you of course to loads of people which will be like the best thing like for someone who's coming over. So I'm like, wait, surely if I've given like myself to you in a way, then you should do likewise, i.e. a free gym pass correct yeah and that was correct actually she gave me the card i'm like pulling out my my money i'm like trying to give it to her and then she's like no cool she'll obviously want me to try to really then help her and she if she helped me then i guess everything goes full circle in this world i hope at least yeah so that was the case <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love saving money. Like, what a hustle. Man, that's what you do. You just talk. And you see what happens. Actually, if you just talk and, like, don't stress about it. The other day, coming from Stansted, I got a free coach journey because I was just really cool with the conductor. We were just having jokes. I was asking about football. And um, then I realized I got into the coach for free. No one was asking for the ticket because the driver I thought I paid the other guy. That's how you just roll. Don't be shy. Half the time, I should really shut up, but I really enjoy talking to people. It's so relaxing and it's just fun, no? Thanks guys, honestly, you guys mean the world to me for like listening to all my tangents and like <laughs> my trail of thought. That I could call another hustle. LOLS. But honestly, half the time, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just going with the flow and it's funny what happens.
Let me serve the next customer. You hear those birds in the sky, it's gonna rain, like, those seagulls. When I was doing a BBC TV show, like, I mean, any, any sound, dozens of people would stop working for hours sometimes. And the cars on this side, just gotta roll with the punches, roll. One quick comment I didn't really want to say this is that I want to quickly just go over like this new YouTube algorithm requires like likes and comments for like my videos to like to rank well. So if you could please do so, that would really help me. Oh, and that basically means you know I grabbed. I don't, but I could, but I don't. For one, didn't hang out with the right people for that. Click a like. Click a subscribe, click on your keyboard, those letters to write a comment. Yeah, that was explained very well. See you guys, the car's coming. Shh. Ah. <laughs>